Hi, Sagittarius. This is Jeff, right? This is your reading for August 7th through the 14th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. Private readings are on sale this month, 20% off the information will be below. Also, my website, handmade t shirts, handmade scarves, handmade pocket squares, handmade bags. There must be something else. <laughs> Um, so I'm in the middle of doing the videos and, uh, oh, so there's two things. One is I used to only offer these videos to members, <clears throat> but now I offer them to everyone. However, if you'd like to watch them without commercials, if you become a member, you'll be able to watch them without commercials. And by the end of the month, uh, I hope I'm going to be putting together some sort of something like I'm offering members discounts on my website regularly, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Readings, something. So I don't know what it's going to look like, but I'll figure it out. I am, um, you know, I'm usually, I, you know, I have Virgo rising, so I can, I'm very, very organized. I'm very organized. Mm -hmm. And um, I usually, I'm very, um, constrained in a certain way the way I do things so the way I usually do the readings is, is to do them by element so in the middle of fire and I did Leo I did Aries and I would generally do Sagittarius and you could do something else you know and then like maybe between water and fire whatever I would take a break and I would like and I was like we get yourself a piece of chocolate. So I just got myself a piece of chocolate and I feel like a million dollars. So um, the thing I want to say is um, if you're that tight type, you know, it's like, well, I got to get this done right now. No, no, no. It's like, I think it's good to stretch yourself a little bit and say, okay, as long as I get it done by this time, uh, you know, it's good. And maybe I'll have a little piece of chocolate. Maybe I'll um, go make myself some lunch. Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, call a friend that makes me happy. Something. Take a bath. Go for a walk in the park. Like that. I feel like that's what I'm supposed to say to you. I think I'm sure on the old red light. <laughs> I don't really think I made a difference, but okay. I, you know, the way I see the video is darker than the way it actually comes out. So I'm always like aware of that. Let's go. So this includes Lionsgate. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video. I'll see. I don't want to promise anybody to show up. And I still haven't scheduled anyone for the next uh, Juro Tuesdays, but check out the last one. It was really a lovely conversation with uh, Shari from um, Voices from the Small. Great name. There you go. This is... So, uh, you know, I did, the co I did the collective reading first, you know, for everyone. And then I did Leo. And I did Aries now, I'll to you. I'm getting only really good cards. So I think it's going to be a great week. We start with the wish card. We start with the wish card. This is funny. So then I have the, um, the hanged man, which was this week's card. So the hanged man is like this willing self-sacrifice. So I almost feel like Sometimes we're hanging on to stuff. This is what I'm getting a lot for. Like, this is like the energy in the collective in a way. Um, it's kind of like the way I do things, right? The way I do things is I get very, um, like I put myself in a box in a way. And it's like, what well, it has to be done. I get very serious and very um, unyielding and like that. And that's the way I usually do things, right? And it's kind of like, I don't really know if that's the most benefic way to do that. I don't really know if I, 
I'm the most productive that way. I don't know, really know if like I'm enjoying what I do when I do it like that. You know, it's almost like I, it's like a monkey that I put on my own back in a way. So that's what I feel like the hangman's about because it, it's a willing self-sacrifice. So sometimes these things that we sacrifice, because he sacrifices himself to himself, right? So sometimes these things we sacrifice that, oh, I can't, I can't give that up. I can't give up that way of thinking. I can't give up that way of doing things. I'm identified with that. What will everyone think? It's the only way I know how to do things. La, 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 la. It's like, okay. You can try an experiment, right? You can try an experiment of doing things in a new way. So like maybe new opportunities will open up. Hmm. So having that little piece of chocolate, it was like a little treat to keep me going. And even today, you know, a lot of, I always try to do the 12 at once, but it's only Wednesday. But tonight I have a plan. Tomorrow in the afternoon I have a plan. So I want to get as much done as I can. But I've already, in a way, made up my mind that, like, if you do six today, that's great. And then if you do another six tomorrow, that's great. I mean, if I get through all 12, but I get through them in a relaxed manner, and I don't feel like under the gun then that's great. But I'm not putting myself under pressure is what I'm trying to say, which is what I usually do. It's what I usually do. And I'm beginning to like, it's almost like, sometimes you change the way you think. Like, let's say you wear black all the time. This is an example. You wear black all the time. Oh, black, 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 black. When you go to a store, or you're online or whatever, and you're like, no, I really like pink. I really like red. Why don't I buy something red and wear it or pink? It, you know? It's like, you know, because I think we all get into habits, and I think it's really good to break habits. Yeah, why don't I just go after something I'm dreaming about? Why don't I reach out and grab something that comes to me in my imagination and go in a different direction? Why don't I just go in a different direction? You know, I've always wanted to dress sexier. I've always wanted to dress more professionally. I've always wanted to dress in a more hippy dippy kind of way. I always wanted to dress in a in a younger way or in an older way or in a more conservative way or in a more interesting way. Or why don't I just do it? Why don't I just do it? You know, maybe this is part of me that's coming to the fore that I want to express. Like, so there's this new part of my personality coming to the fore that I'm interested in um, diving into and expressing. Well, then maybe I need, you know, I'm not saying go, you know, throw away all your suits and, and, and just buy tie-dye. I'm not saying that. But it's like, well, buy a tie-dye t-shirt and see what it feels like. You know? Right? Or I think I want to start wearing sexy underwear. Or I would think I want to start wearing no underwear. Or I think I want to start eating different types of food. I think I want, I feel like that. I feel like this is energy of, of fun experimentation. That's what it feels like. Yeah, because maybe it's time to start a new story. Maybe it's time to start a new story. Maybe it's time to reinvent myself. Maybe it's time to reinvent myself in an image that holds more interest for me, holds more joy for me, holds more uh, satisfaction. Time is now. Love her. Because I've been sitting, waiting for this mouse to come by. For, I don't know how long. Right. And now the mouse is here, so it's time to pounce. And maybe this will lead to a new sense of stability and a new sense of um, security in myself. Because, you know, really, at the end of the day, it's like, 
so I think the way the the world you know we've lived in it's like oh security means job means a house means a certain relationship or a certain type of relationships or but security really at the end of the day is the end it is really the relationship with oneself and one's own life like I make self-assured actions right I, I do this because I believe in it that's more sense of like true security than uh, you know how much I do or don't have in the bank this is you know that can change yeah I think I'm going to develop a strategy toward this hmm I'm going to throw a little bit more. I think I'm going to develop a strategy toward this and take action toward it, toward my dreams, toward my fantasies, toward what I'm being called to. And I'm going to give up the things that don't work anymore. And the things I'm bored of, the things that have lots of new ideas, clear thinking, yeah, I feel like you're getting you're getting messages from your higher self. Like, why don't I try that? Why don't I try that? I'm feeling different, and well, you know, you know, you go take a road on a motorcycle, a, a ride on a motorcycle. Let me go take a ride on it. I'm not saying go buy the motorcycle, but. It's like if that's the freedom if that's what you're you, you have to think about like well why do i want like, to ride on a motorcycle is it because i want to be free because i want to blow the wind in my hair is it because um, you know i don't want to have to worry about a parking spot is it is it because i want to express myself as a rebel like what is it and it's like take some take some steps toward it uh, otherwise it's never you know otherwise it's just going to be in your head and um I think it's time to bring the things that are in our head out into reality. I think like that's what's going on in reality. And in a certain way, I've kind of been saying this the whole time, right? Find the joy and express it and act on it. Look, you know, I could have stayed in New York and you know, try to make go of it there and, and struggle and continue to struggle and, you know, do all this, whatever I would have to do there. I'm just like, you no, know, I, you know, um, I've been wanting in a lot of ways to move to Mexico for a long time. It's a much easier, um, more loving place to live. And, um, I'm going to go for it. Well, here I am. Blessings. <laughs>